I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Unlock the way we rock it, so don't stop. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual math class. <clears throat> today is Teach 4.10, and today we are going to learn uh, about <clears throat> how to allocate weekly allowance among spending, savings, including for college and or sharing. Okay, so you get a weekly allowance, right? You get money from your parents or from your on an uncle or from anybody and where you can put that money what is it gonna go to okay <clears throat> when, you, when you receive your allowance you should think about more than just spending it think about three categories to split your money between saving save money for larger purchases for college or to invest or if you want to buy something that's really expensive you got to learn to save it Let's talk about the savings drawing. <clears throat> what can you do with the money you are saving? Put it into a savings account, invest your money in the stock market, put it into a certificate of deposit or a CD, or buy a US Treasury bond. What are things what are things people save for? College, vacation, car, large purchases emergency fund, home, or to even start a business. <clears throat> um, save money for large purchases for college and to invest. The next category to consider is sharing. Give money to help others who are in need. Let's talk about your sharing jar, Kendi. Why should I give money to others? You can change others' lives. You don't have to look far to find someone who has a need that they don't meet alone. We don't live in a perfect world and at one time <clears throat> and at one time or another, we all need to help in some way. Being part of a community means helping when you can. How is this organization helping others? Michelle, a habit for human habits for humanity, volunteer lace tile in a habit house. Habitat House. Habitat for Humanities help provide housing for families who don't have a home. People in need can apply for home ownership through Habit for Humanity, Habitat for Humanities. If selected, they will invest hundreds of hours of their own labor called Sweat Equity while they work alongside volunteers to build their home. When it is complete, the homeowners pay back an affordable mortgage often less than their previous rent, to cover some of the costs to build their home. If you want to read more, you can just go ahead and click here, and then you can see how it changes lines. The Red Cross. Okay. The American Red Cross helps families in need because of disasters. 90% of the disasters the Red Cross responds to are home fires but they are all also well known for helping families affected by hurricanes, floods, and wildfires. <clears throat> the Red Cross walks with local partners, usually cities and churches, to open shelters, provide meals, and help families rebuild after a disaster has taken everything from them. <clears throat> so this is a good organization. World Vision. <clears throat> World Vision is an organization focused on changing communities, especially the lives of children. They focus on the poorest areas of the world and use sustainable projects to bring lasting change. Rather than giving food, they give a family a meal. Rather than, rather than giving food, they give a family a means to supply food that will continue. This helps 
maintain the dignity of those they help and has a greater long-term impact. <sighs> so a girl holds a duck given to her family through World Vision. Her family can't afford to buy enough food. This duck will provide several, hun several hundred protein-rich eggs every year to feed her. Extra eggs can be sold to buy shoes, medicine, and, and school supplies. Isn't that cool? Each of these organizations and thousands of others helps operate with money donated by people like you. Donating to an organization isn't the only way to give, but these organizations are, ex are experts in helping people with specific types of need. Over many years of hard work, they have determined how to maximize the impact of each dollar donated. Now the third and last category is spending. Spending money on your needs and then your wants as your budget allows. Let's talk about spending wisely, meaning smart. What should I spend money on? Spend money on needs first, okay? So remember, these are things you need, not you want. Buying groceries to eat at home. <clears throat> then spend money on wants, which is spending money like dining out, um, going to the movies, playing video games, stuff like that. Why spending money means having self-control. That means you have to, ooh, I want to buy that, but you know, I need to pay this bill first, so I'm not gonna buy what I want first. I'm gonna pay this bill first. Purchase the things you need, okay? And if there's still money in your spending jar, then spend it on wants. So you need glasses, you need food, school supplies, you need shoes. You want to play video games, you want candy, and you want toys. How much should, I, should go in each jar? <clears throat> Many experts have different opinions. Most experts recommend children save about half of their allowance, while adults should save 20% or more of their income. This is because as children, our parents pay for things we need, like a place to live, food, or clothes. How much should go in each jar? David Ramsey, a financial advisor, recommends these percentages for kids. So. Put 40% of your money in the savings, meaning 40% means out of 100. So 40 means 40 cents out of a dollar, or $4 out of $10, or $40 out of $100. 20% goes into sharing, and then the last 40% goes into spending. What do you think? The percentages will be different for each person. Discuss your options as a class, then individually write the percentages you will put in each jar on your recording sheet. All three should add up to 100%. <laughs> Smart money management follows four rules. Spend less, save more, invest wisely, and give generously. <laughs> what did I learn? I can describe how to allocate weekly allowances among spending, saving, including for college and sharing. Well, that is it for today, so I hope you have a great day. Bye.